I'm a teacher educator. I work at the Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences. Um, and um, in terms of disseminating what I've learned at this workshop, I, there are two levels. The first level is oh, how can I disseminate, disseminate it to teachers who are in schools. And in the Netherlands we have two places where I can do that. One is that we have a conference coming up, a national conference, so it would be good if I could do a workshop there with one of the um, members of the project group because he's from the Netherlands. So we could do a joint workshop there. Another is that on policy level we have a European platform which is the national agency for um, um, events like this and uh, they have a network of bilingual schools and I can ask them to put this project on their agenda and include the materials when they do their mailing. And then uh, in teacher education, we have a number of programmes that are for uh, pre-service education teachers who work in bilingual schools. Two of them are for language teachers, and at the moment we're developing a three-year and four-year programme which is specifically for language teachers working in that context. So I can pass it on to the people who are developing modules for that, and they can implement what's useful into the modules that they're going to be teaching. Uh, another area is that for subject teachers, uh, in secondary schools we have a 30 European credit uh, module which is one whole semester which is a specialisation in content and language integrated learning and so we can actually implement, I can ask the people who are teaching on that and who are developing it to take a look at the website and decide how they would t use those ideas in that module with the students. Um, and then there are other uh, avenues, like for example we have uh, a magazine for language teachers called Le Vitale. It would be good if the, in combination with the, one of the members of the project group we could write an article for that magazine. And then I was thinking what, what, what can we do for um, subject teachers, but there is also just recently there's a digital magazine for subject teachers in Creole, so we could get also either I could or, or you know, a member of the group could write something for that. And we have a Facebook page for all um, schools which offer bilingual um, education, and so I'll definitely post something there pointing them towards the website.